Here's Big Brown running fast at Belmont Tuesday. This is the last time he'll get a chance to run like this until the Belmont Stakes this Saturday, where hopes are high he'll seize the first Triple Crown victory since the 1970s. After today, he's on light duty, and the trainers are happy with what they see. He's right on target. Couldn't be any better because he's by far the best horse in the race. Big Brown's exercise rider says the horse is running just the way he did before they discovered a tear in his left front hoof last week. Oh, I'm very relieved. I just, I just wanted him to be the way he always is, and, and that's what he did, you know. And he was eager and happy to do it. Although Big Brown's handlers continue to downplay the significance of the hoof crack, AP horse racing writer Richard Rosenblatt says the injury is not to be taken lightly. Just about everyone in racing will tell you it is an issue. When a horse has a minor injury preparing for a big race, in this case probably the biggest race horse racing has seen in decades, there's always a concern. Big Brown has already beat in previous races just about every other horse he's racing against this Saturday. Except a horse some are calling the mystery horse named Casino Drive. He was specially bred by the Japanese to race in the Belmont Stakes. His close horse relatives have won the Belmont Stakes the last two years running. His Japanese owners and trainer really believe that he has a legitimate shot at upsetting Big Brown on Saturday. Both horses are famous for pulling out from the pack on the home stretch and leaving all competitors behind. Casino Drive's jockey says that's where he hopes to pull in front of Big Brown and win. My horse loves to uh, have someone to run at it. Uh, like competition in front, so just um, if Big Brown is in front, I will be right behind him and follow his footsteps. So hopefully, I'll be able to run him down at the end. All eyes will be on the track Saturday to see who wins this most anticipated race. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, Elmont, New York.